I want to retire in Jamaica, but I'm scared. I'm nervous. Jamaica has become one of the most dangerous countries in the Caribbean. Federal government is warning tourists about traveling to certain destinations in the Caribbean. Due to a rise in drug cartels. Two men were shot, one fatally. This nation of 2.8 million has seen a rise in violent crime, leaving many tourists wondering if they should vacation elsewhere. I want to find out what life is really like on the streets of Jamaica, so that's why I'm heading to Flankers, the most dangerous hood in Montego Bay. They shoot somebody up that side. Where do people get their guns from? Government. <laughs> <laughs> I have four years to retire and I don't know if I want to live in Jamaica for six months, I want to live here for six months, or I would like to live there completely. All I know is that I have this love and this desire to live in Jamaica when I retire. I do not want to live in America. <laughs> Okay, why am I scared to retire in Jamaica? Guys, I'm scared to retire in Jamaica because of the media. The media paint this picture that Jamaica is so, so horrible. Whether it be the crime, the areas that they, that, that, that just last, just this year, actually, they had a travel advisory put out. Do not visit Jamaica. The crime rate is high. A bunch of different things. Scaring people. Mind you, me and my family, we went to Jamaica in March. And I saw nothing that they claim was happening in Jamaica while I was in Jamaica. We had the best time in Jamaica. Yet the media paint this picture as if Jamaica is the worst place. Even YouTubers. It tends, they tend to go to Jamaica. I don't know if it's for views or what it is. But some YouTubers, when they go to Jamaica, they try to go to the worst places in Jamaica. The places that they go to does not represent Jamaica. Jamaica is more than that. I saw this guy that went to Jamaica. He went to Jamaica, a YouTuber went to Jamaica and he went to downtown market downtown market to show the media that this is what Jamaica is. Guys, check this out. About to enter the slums right now. This area, you don't want to talk with an accent because if they hear you talk with an accent, they know you're a foreigner. So they're going to overprice you or they're going to try to get you. So when we talk about sketchy, this is one of the most sketchiest areas. I'm going to just do a quick tour and I'm out. I don't plan to stay too long. So we're going to get this done and over. We're going to make it quick. Very, very quick. Yeah, here. Very, very quick. So let's get it. Yeah. Oh, so that's where the guy is at? Yeah. Oh, we can't. Yo, whatever we do, we can't. They show the worst part of Jamaica. It's dangerous everywhere. In every country, you're going to have a place where it's more dangerous than others. So why go to Jamaica and try to use the worst part just for views to say this is what Jamaica is? What about the beaches? What about the country? What about a different attraction? What about the, 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 the beautiful rivers? If you're gonna go to Jamaica and try to paint a picture of what Jamaica is, paint a picture detailing, showing the whole idea, the whole picture of Jamaica, what Jamaica represents. Talk about the food, talk about the beaches, the rivers, the countryside, the greenery, the views. Talk about that, but just don't, just, just don't go to the market and paint a picture that this is what Jamaica is. And this is why, and then they talk about the crime. They go to Montego Bay, Flanca. Flanca, since I was a kid, has always been known for this, the most dangerous part of Jamaica. That's nothing new. Flanca is dangerous. In America, you do have the most dangerous part in America as well. Every country have their parts in Jamaica. So this, so it says things like these that deter me from wanting to retire in my own country, my beautiful Jamaica. It's a picture that the media paints. And it has me wondering, is this really true? Has Jamaica really gotten crazy, crazy dangerous? Or is just the media painting this picture? I go to visit sometimes for maybe a week, 
to three weeks the most. So I do not get to experience the all of Jamaica to see for myself what Jamaica really is. Should I believe the media or should I spend more time in Jamaica? And this is why I say to myself, I wonder, should I just do six months or just live there completely or six months there, six months America? But at this point, with four years ago, I need to make a decision. Guys, this is what I see Jamaica to be or look like. Or when I think of Jamaica, this is what I see and love. I see everything. They're dangerous parts. They're, they're, they're good, spot, good part. But, but in my mind, this is what represents Jamaica. So as you can see, guys, that's beautiful Jamaica. Yet some of these social media gurus only show the worst part. What about those parts? 
Jamaica is not only bad, 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 bad market, Trench Town and and, and Tivoli Garden. That is 14. There are 14 parishes in Jamaica. 14 beautiful parish in parishes in Jamaica. So why I only go to Jamaica to just represent the the worst parish? And I am from the most beautiful, <laughs> the most beautiful parish of them all, St. Mary. That's where I'm from. I grew up in St. Mary and I wouldn't live, I would not want to retire in St. Mary because to me that's just country. I don't want to retire in country, but that's where I'm from. I was born in Jamaica, St. Mary, and I grew up in St. Catherine, Portmore. Then I migrated to America. And I did not really explore America while I was there because I was a child. We did not have the resources to explore America, I mean Jamaica, because money wasn't running, right? So I feel like even though I'm from a beautiful country, I did not get a chance to experience all the different things that my beautiful country has to offer. This is why I crave Jamaica so much. The food, the excursions, the the different parishes, Ocho Rios, Negro, Clarendon, um, West Milan, St. Thomas, all those places. I want to live the rest of my life in my beautiful country. I don't want to live in the foreign land for the rest of my life. Yes, I work here, but I feel like I want to be able to open my back door, right? And step outside and pick a fruit for lunch, eat natural food. The food here in America is not as healthy as it is in Jamaica. I wanna be able to grow all these different fruits in my backyard. I wanna wake up in the morning and just taking the beautiful air with the beautiful scenery, hear the chicken waking me up, the cocks crowing, all that stuff. I wanna wake up to nature. I wanna eat healthy. I want to be able to go in my garden and cook from my garden. If something should happen in America, I don't feel like I'll be able to survive America if something devastating, devastating should happen as it pertains to maybe, maybe a famine or something like that, right? But in Jamaica, if something should happen, you know, in other countries in the world, I feel like I'll be more able to to survive in Jamaica because you can just it, it's so many different things to eat there like you, you have your own farm in your backyard you, you're not gonna starve you're not gonna die it, it will be hard for you to not survive if something devastating should happen like like okay in America right we have to we get our food from other places they have to ship food into us for us to eat in Jamaica, you are able to grow your own food in your backyard. You cannot do this in America. Guys, after COVID, I feel like tomorrow is not promised. I feel like any day now, something crazy is about to happen. Any day now. I don't feel like, okay, this world is going to be here 10 years from now. Honestly, that's my, that's my opinion. I feel like we're walking on. They're walking on eggshell because we, uh, you, we have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. And I feel like COVID changed that. COVID changed everything where we feel, where I feel in my heart that tomorrow is not promised and anything could happen t tomorrow. And if anything should happen tomorrow, I do not want that anything to happen with me in this country, especially after being retired. We have no reason to be here but, but my children. And right now, the only thing that's kind of holding me back right now is um, my children, young children, have to finish school. So now I'm, I have to be thinking for me and my kids whether, whether I want them to go to school in Jamaica or I would like, like them to finish school up here. So guys, what do you think? Should I retire in Jamaica or should I retire in America? If you think I should retire in Jamaica, Give me the reason why I shouldn't retire in Jamaica because my whole heart, 95% of my being is telling me, have me feeling 
that this is where I want to live. I want to live in Jamaica. But if you feel like Jamaica is not the best place to live, it's the media, it's the media tell them the truth. Is it really that bad to live in Jamaica? Is America a better option? What is, what is the cons and what are the pros of living in Jamaica? Should I live there for six months and live in America for six months? Or should I live there completely like I feel I want to do? I want to live there completely. Because I feel like Jamaica is where my heart is. Jamaica is where my heart is. Let me know, guys. Peace out.